So the escape wheel controls the rate at which those weights behind you and in front of you descend. That's what drives the clock, those weights. And this escape wheel just controls it through the pendulum. Going this way, as you've seen, we go out to a set of gears called the motion work gears. And they're the ones that drive the hands. So this is a, a 17th century clock. I think it's around about 1680, but I can't be sure. 1670. 1670. James, James Looker of, of Ditchling, according right. to the records. Okay, I, I know it's, I've got it in my records. <laughs> I can't just couldn't remember it. Uh, so it's a very, very old clock, and it is absolutely complete. It's great. Um, the chap from the Worshipful Company of Clockmakers, Robert yes. Wren, yes. he said he thought the escapement might be a, 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 a new one, a different one. He's thinking of a folio, which is horizontal, mm. as this. And he might be right, but there's no, nothing on the frame which shows that it's there. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you've only got one strike, obviously it's only one o'clock. So if you want to see it really busy, you have to wait till 12 o'clock again. <laughs>